Hi, my name is Fiona Smith Sutherland. I am the organist and director of traditional music here at Tower Hill Church in Red Bank, New Jersey. I've been a musician my entire life and my entire career. Uh, both my bachelor's and master's degrees are in sacred music with different concentrations, uh, playing the pipe organ and choral conducting and also voice um, and studying sacred music, uh, which is basically just the how to run a church music program. I was lucky enough to be able to start uh, handbell choirs in a lot of churches, get a lot of church jobs where handbell choirs were established and my experience helped that way. And that's one of the great things about uh, my experience here at Tower Hill is I get to work with handbells and get to work with younger people in handbells. Every group requires a different pedagogical skill set. There's a level of education that I want to provide to the adults. I want them to be the best they can be. I want them to bring what they can bring. But also we have to understand that an 80 year old person is not going to have the same desire for perfection that a high schooler is. They want to be fantastic. And the joy of working with youth is that they can be. My name's uh, Naomi Corboy. I've been, this is my 11th year playing handbells and I participate in the Calvin Ringers group ensemble and I also solo ring. It started in second grade. They needed an extra person for when they had younger choirs. And so I said, yes, I continued with the group ensembles throughout elementary, middle and high school. As of 2019, that's when I started solo ringing and I've been working on it for about two years. With the new concept of solo ringing that was introduced two years ago, no one here, and of course myself, we, like we hadn't heard of solo ringing. We were like, what's that? So she was really awesome with being like one-on-one -on -one and also personable about how she taught things. Oh, I have no it's idea okay. what the song even about. I think they, he's like eating chicken and then he died or something. Like Wait, what? The word is false to that. No, he did not eat chicken. Well, he may have eaten chicken, but he didn't die for eating chicken. She's very good at not only giving advice related to music, but also just advice related to life. I don't know if I would be part of a faith community if there weren't for music. It's so important because what, what music can bring is a different level of worship. We, we really like the idea of worship to embrace all of our senses and when you've got the music, you're embracing your sense of hearing and in such a new way, you can bring heartfelt poignancy to the words being sung or to the tunes being played, if you think about the handbells, in a way that just reading something or sitting and listening, it doesn't do. 